entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. time, boys. Here it comes. Yeah. But who's that? Hey, look. Chancy Colt. He's going for his gun. Don't try any gunplay with him. Get ready to throw that strong box when I tell you. Colt can be us to it. You forgot something! Well, can you beat that for hard luck? Now, what do you suppose they did that for? Just watch, and then we'll all know. He's leaving the money. Play your cards right, you'll wind up in Congress. What do we do now, Bregan? Simple, take the money. From Yancey Colton? Boss, you're crazy. He must have some special reason for leaving it there. Look, boys, Colton drove us out of the Kansas Territory. He's not moving in here. It's time we got even with him. Uh, I don't know. But you don't know, old fill a book. Come on, let's go. said they moved the schedule up. It's like we got some work to do, Lofty. at all. Is there anything else I could do for you? Well, there doesn't seem to be. Uh, Susan, Susan. Yes, Father? What is it? He's a, he, he, he's a... Father, what in the world is the matter? You look poorly, sir. Is something wrong? crazy or something? No, Susan, it, it's, it's just... Sir, it, it seems my presence here has upset you folks. I have business to do with the sheriff. Now, if you could just tell me where to find him, I'll be on my way. Business with the sheriff? Yes, sir, that's right. Well, it, it's, it's just down the street a piece. Thank you kindly. Ma'am? Don't you know who he is, Susan? Why, no, but he seemed terribly nice. Nice? Why, he's Yancey Colton, the notorious Kansas gunslinger. What do you think 
was going to do. I don't know, Susan, but whatever it is, I don't like it. Annie, Lottie! Big trouble's come to Diablo. Now, you've got to... We know what we have to do, Meriwether. You mean you already know about Yancey Holt? Tag told us he robbed the Denton stage. Well, if he didn't tell you any more than that, you're in for a big surprise. Because Yancey Colton is in your office this very minute. In the office? Holy Toledo. He went in there not more than two minutes ago. Gosh, Annie, what do you suppose he's doing in there? I don't know, Tag. Any special suggestions, Annie? Just one. What's that? Let's find out. Tag, you stay here. Yes, ma'am. I beg your pardon, I, I didn't see you come in. <laughs> are you the law? That's right. What are you doing here? I was on the trail a while back, and, and there were these men on the stagecoach, and they dropped a box off in it. Dropped it? Well, yes, I mean, I, I thought somebody ought to know about it, and so I just came on in to tell you. I don't suppose you know that box was full of money. Well, yes, sir, I thought just that. And that's exactly why I didn't bring her on in. Because I heard there were outlaws in this territory. And I didn't want to be no walking advertisement a carry in that box. Look, Colton, what are you trying to prove? I beg your pardon? Why did you call me that? Well, Colton, Yancey Colton, that's your name, isn't it? No, ma'am. That's not my name. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Clement O'Toole, just in from Philadelphia. Gonna make my home here in Diablo. Come here. Wanted in the Kansas Territory for robbery, rustling, and general all-around meanness. Yancey Colton, alias Charlie Hayes, Bud Jensen. Alias Clement O'Toole. Well, now, don't that beat all. It sure beats that story you've been trying to give us. You know, I'll just bet that's what the folks down at the general store thought. That's the reason they were acting so queerly. They must have thought I was that Yancey Colton fella. Look, mister, whatever your name is, if you are telling the truth, there's a way we can find out about it. Oh, yes, ma'am, how's that? Well, you know that box you say was dropped off the stage? What did you do with it? Well, I hid it in some rock so it'd be safe. Well, I can take you right to it. Annie, you buy this. Not particularly, Lofty, but uh, it's worth a try. All right, come on. Where do you think you're going? Tang, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Funny. Well, where is it? Well, wait a minute, Lofty. Give him a chance. Doggone, if it doesn't look like somebody made off with that box. Well, doggone. Oh, I know this looks bad for me, but I, I swear I I'm not that Yancey Colton fella. Well, I never even shot one person in my whole life. And I never stole anything either. Mister, I just don't buy it. How about you, Annie? I don't know, Lofty. Look out, it's an ambush! <laughs> 
was all that about? Do I have to tell you? You saw the way he handled that gun. Meaning what? I mean, when I gave the warning, you drew fast, and so would he, if he were Yancey Colton. Say, you know she's right? Oh, I'm sorry, Annie, but I'll need more proof than that. He could be play acting. There are a lot more questions need answering, too. All right, Miss Craig, when we get back to town, you can do the questioning. I want to talk to the driver of the Benton stage. I am Clement O'Toole from Philadelphia. I'm no outlaw. I'm a grocery clerk. And this outfit? Well, the man that sold them to me from the Emporium said it was the right thing to wear. Uh-huh. Well, what's the six gun for? Opening canned beans? Well, I just thought everybody out west carried one. Oh, well, Annie, what'd you find out? Just one thing for sure. We can't jail him, whoever he is. Why not, sis? Well, the stagecoach driver and the gun guard both admitted they threw the money box off the stage. Now we can't prove armed robbery, and so we have no charge. Then you're going to release me. It doesn't look like we have any choice. You plan on staying in town? Oh, yes, sir, and I'd like to get all this cleared up. All right, mister. But if you so much as look like trouble, I'm going to jail you. Yes, sir. I'll be very careful. May I go now? Yeah, there's the door. Gosh, Annie, the folks outside sure are going to be mad. They thought you were going to jail him. Well, I know they're not going to like it, Tag, but I'm afraid there's not much we can do about it right now until we prove he is Yancey Colton. And you don't believe he is? No, I don't, Lofty. Why not? And don't, don't tell me it's your woman's intuition again. I'm afraid I'll have to, but at least I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, how's that? Well, I sent a telegraph wire to uh, Kansas, to the authorities back there. And we'll find out who Mr. Question Mark is when I get the answer. Till then, all we can do is wait. And I'm telling you, friends, if Yancey Colton is allowed to run loose, none of us are safe. But, Father, he's not causing any trouble. I don't see why you're making such a fuss. Susan, the man's a killer, that's why. Now, I say we have every right to protection. What do you say? I say you're right. We can't sit around with a man like Colton to run this town. We've got to do... I heard you were having a meeting, Mary, were they? Anything we can do? Just get rid of Yancey Colton, that's all. Well, you've already been told we're not sure the man is Yancey Colton. That's nonsense, Annie. He used an alias once and he'll do it again if he's not stopped. Well, even if you're right, there's nothing we can do about it. He's not wanted in this territory. Well, what are we supposed to do? Wait till somebody gets killed? That won't happen and I'll guarantee it. Well, we can't go around making up new laws for every occasion. Well, you mark my words, Annie. Something awful is gonna happen and soon. Diablo's no place for a man like Yancey Colton. We deserve protection. That's right. Sure. That's right. Where are we gonna get? got the whole town in an uproar and there's nothing the law can do about it. Is he using an alias again? Yeah. He's gone by the name of Clement O'Toole. How about that? He's clever. He's up to something. Probably the bank. That's his specialty. You know, Rick, for once I think he got something. What do you mean, boss? The bank. It's going to be robbed, all right. We're going to beat Yancey Colton to it. I didn't mean to bump you. I'm sorry. It was an accident. Please forget it. Are you going to the bank? Yes, I am. Well, here now, I, I'll just carry these down for you. To the bank? Well, if it's all right with you. Of course it's all right. I believe you, Mr. O'Toole, no matter what the others say. Thank you. Boys, Colton just walked in the bank. 
Maybe you're forgetting how fast he is with a gun, boss. I'm not forgetting. His gun won't do much good when mine's aimed at his back. Nobody will get hurt. Get the money, Al. Just what is this? A bank robbery, remember? It's even easier than you said it would be. And I believed you. Well, honestly, ma'am, I don't even know those men. Well, they seem to know you well enough. Oh, you're despicable, that's what. I should have listened to my father. I got a boss. Good, let's go. But, Miss Susan... Give me that. Help! Help! The bank's been robbed! One of those outlaws said so. Oh, she's mistaken, Miss Oakley. They were lying. Here's his gun. Maybe now everybody won't be so afraid of him. All right, you better come along, mister. You still believe me, don't you, Miss Oakley? I swear I'm Clement O'Toole. I'm sorry, but the way things stand, it looks like we have no choice. I say the jail's too good for both of them. He's right. You all saw what happened. The law released Cole, and he robbed the bank. We ought to do something about it. Well, yeah. 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 quiet out there. Lockie, where is everybody? I don't like this. Mary, well, it could be stirring up trouble. Here's your answer from Candace. Thanks, Tag. Lofty. Yancey Colton captured during robbery attempt one week ago. Now awaiting trial in Kansas City. So Clem was telling us the truth. Well, I guess all we can do is tell him we're sorry and let him go. If we do, we'll miss our chance to capture the other two men who robbed the bank. What do you mean? Well, I was just thinking, Lofty. If we could get Clem to cooperate, we still might be able to do it. How? I don't know exactly. I... Softy, Annie! What's wrong, Susan? Oh, something terrible. My father's got the whole town up in arms. They're at the other end of town now. That sounds like they plan to take the law into their own hands. Lofty, give me that telegram. I've got the end. Susan, you go on back home and stay there. And Tag, you get two horses and take them around back and fast. Lofty, you'd better stay out here and watch for that mob. Colton, come on out. The deputy's taking you to Kansas for trial. What? Here's the telegram. Read it for yourself. Come on. But there must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Come on, let's go. But this message... We know what the message says, Clem. I was just putting on an act for that outlaw's benefit. Listen, we'll try to get him out of here. Clem, we might be able to catch those other two outlaws that robbed the bank if you cooperate with us. Will you? Yes, sir. I do just about anything to clear myself with the folks around here. Especially Miss Susan. Good. Now listen closely, because here's what we'll do. Brothers, I know God. Where you gonna go? Here they come. Brothers, I know All right, let's go. Get that cell phone. I have to help barricade the door. Hurry, Lofty. That mob will be here any minute. Hey, what's going on here? All right, now you get over here. You two over here. Now, I'm getting out of here. Nobody's gonna keep Yancey Colton. Take me with you, Colton. No, you just slow me down. No, I won't. Please, that mob will tear me apart. I've got a hideout. We can go there. 
All right, deputy, let him out. Break the door down. some horses. Let's steal them. All right, Deputy, now it's our turn. Hey, they're gone. What happened? We let him escape to protect him from you, and also to lead us to the others. We have definite proof that the real Yancey Colton is in jail in Kansas. Hold it. What are you trying to pull? Get out of the way. I'm in a hurry. No, you don't. You've gone too far, Miss Oakley. Maybe we'd better handle things from now on. They're gone, Annie. They rode out toward the South Road. And you're staying here. Look, every minute you hold us up, an innocent man's life is in danger. We might lose their trail. Get back! But they got you. They did, but Colton got me out. Took that gun away from that deputy just as pretty as you please, didn't you, Colton? Yep. Tin stars don't bother me none. He says he'll throw in with us, Bregan. What do you say? I'd be crazy not to want a fast gun like him with me. You serious, Colton? Might give it a try, mister. Only we'll uh, do things my way. Oh, sure, sure, Yancey. You're not sore about what I did at the bank. No, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, almost as funny as that name you were using, Clement O2. It's the best I could think of on the spur of the moment. Oh, you dropped something here. Telegraph message. That's mine. It's personal. Colton captured during attempted robbery one week ago, being held Kansas City. Why, he's a phony. Well, I can explain. It's all a mistake. Try to explain this. That's for laughing at my name. On your feet. Come on, get up. All right, on your feet. I'm so glad everything worked out this way, Mr. O'Toole. And I hope you'll forgive me for doubting you. Shucks, man, that's all right. My apologies, too, O'Toole. And I hope you'll accept my offer to work in the store as a clerk. Oh, yes, sir, and I, I sure appreciate it. And I want to thank you ladies for, for believing in me most of the time. Well, that's just a woman's intuition, Clem. You know, we can tell all about a person just by looking at them. Sure. It's just a matter of intelligence. Gosh, Lofty, why are women so smart? It's a myth, Tag. <laughs> Just like that intuition business. Lofty Craig. Oh, come on now, Annie. You know it's true. Take my face. What can you tell just by looking at it?